um okay guys um welcome back to my channel i know um i should have dropped this video for some time and uh for some reasons i haven't been able to drop it i kind of feel unmotivated but then yeah it's me doing it again because i'm not doing it for just doing sake but because i want to educate people out there so um on this tutorial we are still on the ogoni land logo design series and in this aspect now we are we are going into the logo sketch and vectorization of the logo and also i would like to make an announcement after this video there is something of benefits as a subscriber as a subscriber to this channel there's something you will benefit by um, staying glued to this channel you know so at the end of this class i will I will make the announcement so let's dive right into it so um today we are designing Oboni land series and already i have my sketch here which i will show you guys now okay so this is my sketch i have four sketches here i have just um the Ogoni land cranes bird, you know, the black crown crane. This is one. This is another one of which I feel the it is not working properly because you know the wings are so long that it almost covers the body. And then this this would have worked well, but then it looks more like a peacock. Because of the direction of the wings, somehow it looks like a peacock. So this was the direction I went with, which is the wing in this direction. You know, the um, six stars of the Ogoniland flag, which is in color red, and of course the Ogoniland name and the cranes FC. So let's just go into the designing of this. You know, when sketching this, I had to ensure that I do not make it too complex, okay? I had to make it as minimal as possible, which is why I went through this um, line approach. You see, the, you know, I could have done a very detailed um, mascot to work for this, but then the, the idea of a good logo is to make it as minimal as possible, even though it's a mascot. It shouldn't be too detailed so that for scalability for print print purpose it would still work so this is the sketch i am going with so let me just cut it out using my rectangle to just cut this out the sect, then i can get rid of this delete now this is my logo um i can just you know this line is not straight i mean the baseline of the of the bird is not straight so with my ruler i just drag from the top of this place where we have ruler i just drag it down if you're using a coil drop just drag it down then it it gives you this ruler so you can just rotate by double clicking on your image it shows you the transform transform tool then you rotate you rotate Okay, is it straight here? Um, it's a bit, yeah, it's kind of straight now. So I can delete my ruler, right click on it and uh, delete. Okay, so this is the bird. So what, what comprises of this bird is circles and lines. So I'll have to reduce the opacity of this by using my transparency tool and setting it on uniform. So doing that, it makes me see uh whatever it is i'm doing properly i can even increase the transparency to 70. so now using my circle i'll create a perfect circle holding your control your keyboard hold your control then make a perfect circle then i duplicate my circle by pressing the um plus on, on my keyboard plus on my keyboard duplicates the circle not the one on the um on the left side of your keyboard you know we have we have two number two number rules 
the one on the left side of the keyboard as number one as it has also as number one also as um exclamation mark number two as the at sign number three as the hashtag the number four as the dollar sign number five as the percentage sign i'm not talking about those numbers or the plus there i'm talking on the one on the number part now we have the alphabetical keys and we have the number of keys numeric keys so i'm talking about the plus on the numeric keys so you can just use that plus to duplicate so once you press the plus it gives you a duplicate you can then redu reduce it according by holding your shift so that it can be equal so once you reduce it you have this perfect circle but on the second hand i like to do my cream bird first so i will delete this circle now to do my cream bird what i need is lines holding your shift key to draw a straight line click and just move it and you have this straight line now the next thing is we have another line here we have another line here so i'll just duplicate the line you can press plus on your keyboard and move it upward whatever way or you can just drag up and release with your right click button that's for the second line and we have another one the third line so why i i'm trying to make it of equal width i mean of equal spacing that's why i have to control d to duplicate so i drag it up i use control d to duplicate okay so we have the three lines here now the next thing is um we have lines that forms this okay this now one thing um i'm being peculiar about is um accuracy that's one thing i'm always peculiar about now if you look at the angle of this line should be the same with the angle of this line should be the same with the angle of this line i mean the angle of this line should be the same with the angle of this line and should be the same with the angle of this line i don't know if you see what i'm saying then the angle at which this line goes should be the same with this and the same with this okay so um so that it can have equal spacing i will select this then duplicate then another line to give us this angle now i want them to meet so i might not necessarily follow my sketch so I'll go this way i duplicate it to form another one here okay then the last one to form another one here i don't know can you see this is the wing this is the wing this is the wing okay i'm done with the wing i'm done with the tail another thing is this curve you will need a circle to make that just a perfect circle so what you need to ensure is that it is touching this baseline yes so this is it it gives me this then also this you need a circle to do that okay you need just a circle to do that that's to show the head of the uh, green bed then for the beak you can just add let's see if this line would work yes this line works so just use this you know so basically that's it so what do we have left i have the sun i i incorporated the sun just to show that the bird is flying high in the hair so you know there's always sun in the in the sky so to i can just use a circle to do that then this lines all i just need is um small lines to represent the crown so i duplicate rotate a bit duplicate okay but then before i go into that let me just clear uh okay i might want to join this later so to block this part i create a line 
I create another one here. Okay. I create another one. I create another one here to stop this line. So for me to make it of the same spacing to let's move this down. Yes, to stop this line. So that's just it. Okay, so the next thing is um I'll copy my grids as I have the grids here already. I select all the grids together. These are my grids, yes. Select them together, then I right click and copy. So what the, what that does is it keeps a copy of your grid even if you decide to clear off some of the parts to form your logo. Okay, so let's let's clear it off. What I need to do is to use a um, virtuous segment delete tool, which you can find where you have your crop tool. Click on the um, small nodes, then you see crop, knife, visual segment delete tool. So what you need is your visual segment delete tool to, lead, to delete the XX lines you do not need. For example, I do not need this. Just drag over it, then it deletes it. So I'll be doing that right now to delete all the nodes I do not I do not need this or this. Okay, I do not need this. Okay. I do not need this, not this. I'm supposed to create uh, a line here to stop it here. So uh, let's create that here. So I can delete this line. Yes. Then I can delete that one also. So this is it. This is the line I used in creating the bird. So all I just have to do now is to select all the lines together and increase the width. Let's say the sun five work. Let's try thirty. Because I think thirty works. So all I just have to do is to weld them together. Okay. Weld it together. Then I can also convert um, outline to object from your object. Um, menu convert outline to object so it gives you the opportunity to fill in the color it also gives you the opportunity to fill in this part but then before that we can see that some places are not joining that's where you will do your own work so let me give you a, a color that you can see let's say color red yes so now using my uh Bezier tool, I can just join those parts that are not joined. For example, I can create a line like this to make it come like this, and I create another line. You know? Then you can just use what's it called? Your smart fill to fill this part. Once you fill that part, you can delete those lines. And you can merge the fill. Select it together with your bird and merge simple so if you can see this place is having a sharp edge you can just use your shift tool which is this to delete this node okay then you go ahead and do the same thing for others line 
is yours, Matthew, fill that part, delete this, delete this. You roll them together, delete this note, okay? Then uh, where again do we need that? Yeah, we need it here also. Here, delete the lines well together. The house, do we need it? I think we've joined those parts. Then, I, uh, what I think we can do again is to make this place pointed, make the mouth pointed. Then, to do that, you just use your shape tool, drag out this node. Now, to make that very easy, just use your line to, to create a line that goes like this. Then you create another line that goes like this. Then you fill that part. Simple. Then you can weld the parts together with... Yes, it gives you that pointed mouth. Then you can do the rest. You can do the same for this, this this but i don't think it's necessary in this case so i have my crone bed now for me to fill in this part because this part is open it won't allow that so what do i have to do i have to close up this and close up this so to do that i can just use my rectangle to draw the a rectangle of the same width then i rotate it and i bring it towards the edge and reduce give a color red do the same thing here then you weld them together with this so with that being done you can now use your smart field tool to fill in you can give it any color you want So then you can give this any color you want also. And fill in here any color you want also with your smart fill too. You can give it any color you want. Okay, so um, let me um, bring in an image of, of what we actually did of, of the approved logo that was submitted so that we use it as a guide, okay? So this is the logo. So this is the logo. You see, it's a it's a bit different here. You can see my executioner is a bit different from this, and the difference is we have the sharp edges here. We have the sharp edges here, of which I said we can do. We can do it here. We can do it here, and um, here instead of me having having it blocked i didn't block it so we could still work with that so um, let me choose the blue color here to fill in this part and here it is just a yellow sun and uh, without this blue so that means we have to take off this blue to leave the yellow sun alone so let's let's select the color from the actual logo for the yellow the blue the green and the red okay so this is the yellow for the sun and also for the body yes so um the next thing is the crown i almost forgot again so let's draw the crown let's draw the crown So all we can do is increase the outline. The outline we use for the actual body is 30. Maybe we'll just use 20 this time for the crown. Yes. So we can just space it evenly. OK. 
okay that's been done i'll group them together then i'll create a circle to i'll create a circle to cut it out cut out the excesses okay so i can just convert this on group objects convert object outline to objects then i weld them together so i cannot use my circle to trim it so that it can have a fine edge and not scattered like this so i just did that i have this fine edge and also the top part i can increase the circle again and do something like this intersect then i delete this to give me the crown okay so the crown also should be color blue okay so that settles the bird and the, and, and the crown so the next thing is our circle you know i did it a before so let, let me get back to it okay so initially you know i have a grid i copied so i just paste if you look the grid fell in the right places so i can just keep a copy of the grid and the bird keep a copy of it okay i can then delete i don't need a grid on i don't, know. I don't need a grid on my hand. so i kept the grid just as a a guide in case someone wants to recreate the bed later they can actually use the grid to recreate it okay so that settles that i'm getting rid of the grids one after the other okay, and that's it so now the circle for the emblem create the perfect circle the base is align it to centralize this bird it is important okay by pressing c on your keyboard you know i created it it wasn't it wasn't centralized so i pressed c on my keyboard to make it centralized and um, that's the first circle then i duplicate with the plus on my number keys my numeric keys and i reduced it okay i reduced it after doing that i can give it outline of okay to to make to give this mouth a breathing space and ear a breathing space i have to cut it out with a rectangle cut out with a rectangle so i did here so i cut this out with a rectangle then i cut this out with a rectangle okay now before that i trim this this circle i use it to trim this circle i select this circle with this then i trim what that means is i'm cutting out this circle i'm leaving this area blank okay let me make it more clear i give this color color green right this is the color green then this is a circle that doesn't have any color so once i use it to trim this circle it cuts out this inner part like this so that's what i just did i trimmed it out then i now trim it with this rectangle again like this does that make sense so having done that what what is remaining of me to do is to uh, add a yellow border so to do that we already have a black border here i just have to change it to yellow and increase the outline stroke like i have on the bed i have 30. so i'm making it uniform the same stroke i have on the bed the same stroke i'm having here okay so having done that i have the stroke like this or i might even try and make it bigger yes something like this works better so having done that i can now break convert outline to objects 
so my stroke is separated from my actual shape that settles that then the next thing is the star you can create a default star five sides one two okay let me reduce it So I'm, I'll, I'll group these two stars together, I'll give it color red, centralize it with the logo, make it be at the center, then I duplicate here, then I copy and paste and create another one. I group these two together, after grouping it, then I align this to fit horizontally with this, you know, to, you know this is not horizontally fit, so what I have to do is I hold my shift key. I select it and I press E on my keyboard to make it fit horizontally. So I duplicate here also. I group them together and I centralize it with this using the C. It makes it centralized. So we have the star, we have the sun, we have the crane bird itself. Then what else is the name? Ogoni Land and the cranes FC. So here I have this blue and gray lapping on each other and if you agree with me the contrast is not much which makes it a bad design so what i have to do is to create another outline for this only this side only so what do i have to do i just i will just copy out this part by using my bezier tool i'll make a copy of this outline this is the outline right I make a copy of it holding the shape i created around it i select the outline and i intersect intersect means i'm creating a copy so this is it i created a copy so i can now delete this after creating the copy i now give the copy the same outline yellow okay i give it yellow outline and 25 now it is it is um overshadowing the field itself so what i have to do is i have to go to my outline pen and um make it behind field that means it should be behind the field color like this okay then um i'll probably have to increase the width because it is now behind the field the width will reduce so let's make it 50 Yes, or 60. I mean 60, 60, 60. Yeah, so this is it. I click OK. Then the next thing I have to do is I have to break it apart. I have to separate the outline and the field because what I just need is the outline and I don't want it showing here. So I'll go to Objects convert outline to object having done that i have this yeah so i can then delete this and i'll take this behind this or i bring this above it whichever way i have selected this too and i just bring it above it shift pager will bring it above it that's simple it brings it above it so we now are what we are left to do is to eradicate this part of it what you can simply do is to use your shape tool to just drag it away in like this and that's it so that way we've created a contrast between the yellow and the green mind you i decided to do it this way by not giving it a sharp edge you can decide to give it a sharp edge okay so whichever way it works i can even decide to make this slant okay using my shape to i just did this and get rid of this and um i do it here also Okay, and I do it again. I move this also. What I'm using is um, the arrow keys on my keyboard. 
and I'm selecting these nodes with the shape tool. Do not forget the shape tool to select the nodes. So then that means I have to refill the path because this yellow part is not reaching here and here. So I just have to do it. I can delete this part. Then I use my my what smart fill object to fill again. Then give it this color again. And that's it. So that's that about the logo itself. And the next thing is uh to the write up Ogoniland and Print FC. So I simply write Ogoniland. F dot C dot. So all should be in title case, I mean uppercase. So um, the font I used, if I can remember vividly, the font I used was um, the font I used was Fractual. Yeah, I used a Fractual font. Okay, this is the font I used, but I think I used the black alt black yes was it the hot black i think this looks a bit too thick alt extra bold actually yeah that was what i used so i just have to break this apart i have to break this apart Control k we break it apart then i can now fit this text into this part so to do that I just use my right click button to drag it over here and it shows me this dialog box that says part clip inside place text inside fit text to part now what we want to do is to fit the text to this part so we just select this option okay it's not working because i have divided the circle Right, so all I just have to do is to create another perfect circle to make that happen. Create a perfect circle. Centralize it with this. Create a perfect circle. Then I can fit my text to this circle that I just created. And it gives me this. Can you see that? So I can then zoom in. And edit then I can increase the kerning to do that I use my shape tool again to increase the kerning I equally increase the size a bit more and that's it so I can now break the circle because the circle is going together with the text the circle is together with the text so I can just break it apart by going to objects um, objects break text apart so it separate the text from the circle so i can give my text color white now for the base part also you do the same thing fit text to parts but this time you will move your text downwards so once you move it downwards once it shows you this red stuff that means it's at the center okay once it shows you this red line it means it's at the center but this time around it is inverted so what you have to do is to mirror text vertically and mirror text horizontally so that's what it gives you then you bring it right back to the center where it should be then increase the kernel using your shape tool then you can break your text apart and delete this Voila, your logo is ready. It's that simple. Your logo is ready. So this is the logo replication. Okay, like I said, we fixed the error in this logo by not adding the crown, and that's the only error in this logo that that made it not go in contrary to the brief. So that's all about that. And um, I think this tutorial should be helpful to you.
and should you have any question as regards how i did the grading or anything you can ask me again you can also go through the video as many times as you can to have a better understanding okay and do not forget watching a video and not practicing will not get you better what gets you better is consistent practice all right so you have to consistently practice what you've learned to be better at it so that will be all for this tutorial thank you very much for your time and um We'll see you again in the next tutorial which is the presentation and before i go i made an announcement earlier about me having something to offer to my subscribers and that is why i called design my subscribers logo design my subscribers logo okay so this is an opportunity for you guys to learn from your own mistakes from the actual designs you've been doing that you're not getting well or that design that you did for a client that wasn't approved if there's any particular logo you've done and it wasn't approved or you're not okay with what you have to do is to send me the logo itself the logo you did and the brief the client gave you send it to my email and i'll be redesigning them in the next class not in the next class after Ogoni land series after our going land series, we will be redesigning you guys' logos. I will be redesigning you guys' logo. Obviously, it's just me and me alone. So I will be redesigning you guys' logo in the next tutorial series. After our going land series, it should be design my subscribers logo. So all you have to do is if you are a first timer, subscribe to this channel, turn on notification, share, and drop your logos in an email i'll provide for you guys and the subject of the email should be design my subscribers logo i'll come again drop the logo and the brief in my email with the subject as design my subscribers logo once you do that i'll select up to five and i'll design it and record and post on a youtube channel for you guys to learn from it okay so that's the good news i have for you guys you can learn from your own design that design that you've been tackling that has been giving you a tough time or that design that a client has rejected send it to my email i will work on them i'll do my research and redesign it for you okay so till we see in the next class you guys should stay good